Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. Today we're looking at chapter 5 in the book of Joshua and let's read what it says from verse 10. While the Israelites were camped at Gilgal on the plains of Jericho, they celebrated Passover on the evening of the 14th day of the first month. The very next day they began to eat unleavened bread and roasted grain harvested from the land. No manna appeared on the, on the day the first ate of the crops of the land and it was never seen again. So from that time on, the Israelites ate from the crops of Canaan. So what is it that we see happening with the Israelites? You see, for the last 40 years or thereabouts, they had been having a supernatural provision where God was basically raining down um, manna from heaven for them to make into meals. And they had that daily. And this went on all through the time they were in the wilderness. And now they had come into Canaan and they had grain. They had, you know, grain that was harvested and they were eating from that. And the Bible says from the moment they began to eat that, the very next day the manna stopped. You know, and why did that happen? It's because, you see, God always knows and wants us to understand that there are seasons in our lives. And some in some seasons, you know, in our lives, God has to basically carry us and provide everything for us, just like you would um, provide everything for a baby. But when that baby grows to a point where they can begin to fend for themselves, you stop propping them up. You stop doing, you, you stop providing and, you know, providing everything for them because you want them to grow to be mature. You want them to begin to, you know, utilize their own um, potentials, their own resources. You want them to begin to use their own strengths. And in the same way, you know, that was what was happening with the Israelites. For as long as they needed the manna, they needed the supernatural um, help in that sense, they had it. But once they didn't need it anymore, it was time to take that off. And that is the same thing that happens with us as well. You might be going through a patch, you know, a season in your life where it's like everything is perfect. You pray and immediately you get the answers. You know, you go through this. Everything is just perfectly, you know, handed over to you. And then it seems like, hey, what's going on? That's been taken away. You know, doesn't God love me anymore? He still loves you. You know, he's still providing for you because whether the provision is as manna from heaven or the provision is you know, from the grain and the, uh, from the land, it's still God providing anyway, you know? And so it's a question of one season has ended, another season has begun. So if you find yourself in that position where you're thinking that, Hey God, what's going on here? Everything was so easy before. Now I'm going to have, you know, I'm having to put in a little bit more effort to get the same results. Hey, guess what? It is because God knows that you're strong enough. God knows that you're mature enough. God knows that everything that you need to get what you, everything that you need to get what you need is actually on the inside of you. So don't despair. Know that God loves you and he is with you every step of the way and he will provide for you. In fact, the provision is already there. All you need to do is open your eyes and look. God bless you. Have a great weekend. God bless and a beautiful day.